Alright, so this is going to be a very controversial video. Like, a lot of people are going to disagree with it. A lot of people are going to agree with it. Maybe. But, Jiren vs. Goku. I'm going to kind of be talking about Goku from the manga and from the anime in a point. Not as though, like, the same character, but, like, kind of talking, like, around him. Talking through him and talking about the character. So, Goku can be argued to be... 5D, and he can be argued casually above 4D, simply based off like feats that he did with Hit, or being in a place where time doesn't exist, or I think or space. It was the void of nothingness, I believe. Yeah, and also him just existing outside of the universe and or slash multiverse that they have in Dragon Ball when Xeno destroyed everything, holding on to the spaceship or the time machine that was used to like go from where Zeno destroyed everything to go back. So with that, he is outside of time and outside of space, putting him at 5D casually. Um you can probably wank him a little higher. Like if you go into God books and other shit like that, then yeah, he can be wanked to those levels. I mean, if you don't accept those scaling and you have different interpretations of those feats or downplays of it, uh, then yeah, it's whatever. But even on top of that, um, Goku would be casually like just on a on a bad day in his base form, like at the end of like Super and shit like that, or where we're at now. I. He should be either low complex, like low multiversal, or he should be low complex multiversal. And I don't accept the like the low complex multiversal as like a like as in the attack AP or whatever. Like I have my own arguments against it, but it can be used with certain interpretations of the character. And so, Giorno does not have universal like AP. In the slightest. He doesn't have universal durability. In the slightest. So Goku off top. Would have greater AP. Greater durability. And he should have. Greater speed. Based off the fact that he's beyond space and time. Um, in Dragon Ball. If you are a character that is far above. Your opponent. You can negate his hacks. You can dead ass clap his hacks and act like they don't even exist if you're strong enough or if there's a big enough difference in between you. Uh, some of the prime examples is, or if not like negate, resist to a high degree. For instance, when Kami, not Kami, but whenever Chanzu tried to use telekinesis on Nappa, it was completely ineffective. He said that he was just too powerful and that that, that didn't work on him. Then you have characters like Vegeta who can resist Bobbity's mind hacks. Bobbity was not only controlling Vegeta's body, but his mind and his spirit as well. Like, after all that, Vegeta just powered up and, like, got rid of Bobbity's control. And Bobbity was like, how can the possess refuse the possessor type shit? Then you have Vegito who was matter manipulated into candy. And just dead as didn't give a fuck. He was like, Welp, I guess I'm the strongest piece of candy there is, and I'm finna beat your ass. Like, think about it like this Vegito wouldn't even have had a brain. He wouldn't have had lungs. He wouldn't have had anything like that. He's just like dead ass a piece of candy. And because he was so strong, he was able to resist the hacks of Vegito. I mean, of Buhan. Who Buhan was strong enough with his bare screams, was destroying the dimensional walls. And it was eventually going to destroy the universe, which, yeah, it would put him at, like, a universal tier, if not, like, a punch or a shout. And also, Vegito even said, use that power on me. So, it's actually confirmed that he can use that strength to attack. It's not just, like, him, like, ca casually, like, or passively destroying stuff around him. Like, he could have, like, focused it into a universal attack. But... Even beyond all that, you know, you also have um, in the super movie, go like God key is something where if you don't have God key or you're not strong enough, you can't even like move around these niggas like and let you fall on the ground type shit. Goku did like a, a 
prison type thing like a, a seal type thing on broly where you have you stand still because he puts his key on you and broly just got stronger and like just flicks the shit off so those hacks don't work also they was busting through dimensions and shit with their power um so yeah like goku should casually scale above any feat that jorno performed like AP wise and durability wise, like the causality manip pretty much would get nagged because of how the Dragon Ball like characters work and how they can deal with hacks. Like the hacks are not on the level. Even if you say that they're like on a universal tier, Goku is so far beyond universal at this point. Like even if you don't downplay the fuck out of him and say, well, only thing Goku's Uni Plus, that still puts him above Jerno's hacks. Like so. And you can't really argue, like, multiversal fucking hacks for Giorno. Like, that, that's just straight cap. But, yeah, Goku wins against Giorno. Facts. Also, I'm going to add the fact that Giorno, like, at best has shown, like, building level attack feats. Um, and also the fact that he can defeat someone or did as neg somebody with the fourth. A 4D hack doesn't make him 5D. He can be higher into 4D. And he himself with his main body wasn't even like able to move in time stop or anything like that. It was his stand's passive ability, which was his hacks. And your hacks don't really scale to you in JoJo. It might be that way in other verses, but not JoJo. Uh, and we have no like confirmed proof that he's uh, GRE was stated above um, D4C. And him being above like dimensions that i believe that statement has more to do with the fact that like if you try to like fight him or anything like that one he passively has lug hacks which gonna like stop you from doing anything and then on i believe it also shows his ability where he can basically go to different planes of reality or different dimensions or different universes if you add it that way and I don't believe we have any stated infinite uh, dimensional things anywhere or universes. We have speculations from characters that say, oh, yeah, it could be endless or just something like that. But that's not like confirmed proof of infinite universes or infinite anything, especially whenever these niggas don't really know like what it is. It's just an attack or something that they got hit by. And then they randomly speculate on it. That's not how that's not how that works at all. But yeah, uh, even if you discount everything I said in this video, I could just use Xeno Goku uh, to be like, yeah, now he slaps because that's that's easily uh, six to low, high six to low seven D, and that just washes instantly. But yeah, there's a big precedence in Dragon Ball that they can neg hacks, not only their AP, but their actual, like, body. Like, Rat Napa wasn't able to be moved with telekinesis. Even though Vegito was turned into candy, he just deadass didn't care. Like, you gotta think about it, being turned into candy, like, it affects you on a bunch of different levels. It affects your mind, your body, like, it literally changes your brain, and... And it also changes your, like, everything about you. So, yeah, you can neg hacks in Dragon Ball. And it's not just an AP thing. It's kind of been shown that, for like that, for a long time. I'm not saying they, they neg every single hack. But from what we see, like, if you're strong enough, like, a character got a hack and they do it, you just neg it. So, yeah. Yeah, but I'm also going to be fair to Giorno. And I'm going to say that even if we wank him to all hell, we we can pretty much say that this fight would still be like a stalemate since none of Jirino's AP really can affect Goku. And in order for him to put him in an infinite death loop, he has to kill him in the first place. And, uh, yeah, I don't believe he'd be able to kill Goku and if like basically we taking the wank version of his hack then he, Goku wouldn't be able to kill him cuz it just reset but let me get spicy with you if we're using manga Goku we can just say that well boom Goku has existence erasure 
and really the the stand has not been shown to work on an existence erasure to say that it like would work on everything and anything that somebody throws at you then that would be a no limits fallacy so you would lose that debate off top